Hello, welcome to Sun, Moon, Star Tarot. These next four bell sounds are to bless this reading and to align our energies as well as to call in your, call in your higher self and your guides. This reading is if you're seeing the angel number 1111. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Mm, I'm shuffling everything on camera, I guess. <laughs> so I'm just going to analyze the energy surrounding you. Um, what are you manifesting? What's on your mind? And then, uh, well, what's in your subconscious mind? Because you manifest from my subconscious mind. And then advice. Energy. You have the fool. What are the manifesting spirit? Flying out and the advice. Flying out. And then we have judgment. Oh, we have a lot of major arcana so far. So really you're at a pivotal point in your life, I feel. And judgment. So that's you needing to like Make some like judgment calls, some decisions, some quick decisions that can lead. I feel what's on the bottom of this deck. So eight of pentacles, yeah. So it's making a decisions that leads to the well being of yourself. And it's like you you may be a little bit scared because you don't know what's on the other side. But it's like you need to take the leap of faith and like just see that it's okay if it's not okay, you know? I'm just gonna go ahead and clarify and then hop into the reading. But so far, a lot of messages coming out. Yeah, I didn't I say we, we have a decision to make? And I don't want to be like foreboding or anything, but if it is not the correct one, that it can lead to a regret because you can't hold on to the past. Sometimes you have to let the past go to like ascend and then you get this commitment that you want and this reflection in the material world. And this is popping out to me too. All right, I'm just going to go ahead. And, oh, what is that? The answer is yes. So if you are thinking about something, the answer is yes, okay? For some of y'all. <laughs> All right, and then let's see what this is. We have a lot of strong cards here, first of all, but why right off the bat, the energy surrounding you is like, you're like a little youngling, a little sapling, I feel. It's like, you, I feel like you've been taken advantage of, kind of, because you don't speak your truth. And I, uh, ironically, um, for my part, I did a reading. And on the bottom here, we have the fifth chakra, and that's your throat chakra. And then here we have mute coming in. And then we have healing, which also highlights your throat chakra. So there's something about your throat chakra here, definitely. And then number five. Um, so take, it that, take that how it resonates. Because your throat chakra is number five, just FYI. But anyways, it's like you kind of like got wrapped up in something and now it's like, it's not working out the way that you thought it would work out basically. And it's like <clears throat> to regain your power, you have to like heal. And this healing can mean like letting go basically just because it's like, this is the energy that needs to be purged, basically. This is the energy that's surrounding you. But this is what you're, you're this is what you're wanting, to, needing to manifest almost. Is this like powerful burst of like light energy of like hope and strength is what I'm getting. I'm seeing like a lot of illumination here. Like that's illuminated and that's illuminated in this card too. So it's like, you're needing to just see the path of illumination, basically, almost. And then 
here, it's like you have the opportunity for stability basically, but it's like, it's up to you. It's like the ball, it's like free will basically. Spirit can come in and intervene and give you a tower moment if you want to, but tower moments suck, all right? You don't want a tower moment, especially an external tower moment. And even that's still you manifesting that. I'm just going to go ahead and pull an advice card for you. What's it like? Oh, okay. Oh, two. We have all tied up and broken heart. Yeah. So I got this card too, ironically. You're needing to be like open and vulnerable and speak your truth and like unburden yourself because right now it's like you, you are tied up right now and it's leading like it's going down the road of a broken heart basically. And of regret and it's like you have the decision you have the opportunity to like to like let go basically right you can step into this unknown territory you can ascend so thank you so much for watching if it resonated make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you again soon namaste